fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading for elephants. Oliphant had become a ghost town. The buildings were falling apart from neglect and decay. After the rumors of gold in the nearby hills had been exploded, the town that had so suddenly boomed was empty. It looked bleak and desolate as the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode through the dusty path that had once been the street. Hurry up, Tonto. I want to look this town over. Oh, scout, old fella. Oh. Steady, Silver. Steady, boy. Oh. What's that to see now? Town all fall down. Just a short time ago, Kimasabi, this was a boom town. There's life and activity on every side. That's right. Tonto not remember. And now look at it. Uh. Doesn't look as if anyone has been here in ages, does it? Steady, big fella. Uh. <laughs> That's right. And why you stop here? Let's look around a little bit. See if you can find any sign that anyone has been here. Oh, Tonto not see sign of people. Anyone has been here recently. There should be some evidence of it near the well. Let's take a look. Ah. Does it appear as if water had been drawn lately? No. Well, not used for plenty long time. Then what did the people who came here do? There were a lot of them. They've all disappeared. Since then, one or two others have come to the ghost town of Elephant. Never been heard of again. What is the answer, Tonto? Where are they? Wait. Tonto, wrong. You look here. What's that? That water. Yes, I see it. I know this water couldn't have been spilled very long ago. That's right. Some dry water. Yes, water was spilled. Someone spilled it. If someone was here, there should be footprints. Their prints? You see a trail? Ah. Me think maybe it'd go that way. Not very plain. Tonto, follow it. And come, we lead the horses. Ah. Here, more water. Yes, I wonder. Hello, watch out. Someone's shooting at us. Now, him not come close. Sounded to me as if that shot came from over there. We go see? Yes. This way. Again. Ah, uh, him keep that shot. It came from that house, all right. Tunnel to the saddle. Uh, Steady, uh, Silver. <laughs> Someone doesn't want us here, Kimosabi. Follow me. I'm going to find out who it is. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. We're right up from the side that has no windows. That right. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. All right, Tonto, pull up. Steady, oh, Silver. Steady. <laughs> I know, I'm going in there, and I'm going in fast. Time to go, too. I'll stay out of the line of fire. Now, come on. Reach you, too, and reach for this guy. A woman. Uh. You... Why... Why, you're Dave. Dave, you come home at last. Oh, lad, I've been waiting for you so long. Well, come in, son. 
Come in and fetch your friend. Oh, no. She's mistaken me for her son. Mm. Oh, David. It took you so long to get back from the claim. What what delayed you, son? What, what was it, done it? And tell your ma all about it. Yeah, sit down, son, and, and tell your old ma all what happened. Yes, uh, just a minute when I speak to my friend. I wonder, could you uh, get us some water? Uh, right away. Right away, I'll get it. I just now brought a fresh pailful from the well. Tonto, this old woman is ill. That's right. She doesn't know what she's saying. Ah, uh, she not see mask. She not see Tonto was Indian. Looks to me as if she hasn't been getting enough to eat. What we do? I bring some food from the saddlebags. After that, she must be questioned. Ah. Perhaps she can tell us what we want to know about the missing men of Oliphant. While Tonto prepared a meal in the home of the white-haired old woman, other events were taking place not far away. In a tunnel that penetrated the side of a hill just half a mile outside of town, a score of rough-looking men were gathered. The tunnel had been converted into living quarters and showed signs of having been occupied for some time. The man who seemed to be the leader addressed his companion. Fellas, every one of you here deserves a living. The country owes it to you. You've been trying to get by on your own for years, and where are you now? Ain't got nothing to show for it. Just so. Been stealing enough grub here and there to make out, and it's all. Ain't a leader in the lot of you. Just a pack of spineless no accounts. Oh, Here, Snake, you can't talk to us like that. No? No, you can't. I... I'll show you what I can do and what I can't. You asking for more? Oh, I, I didn't mean it, Snake. I was just talking. Don't hit me again. <laughs> well, I reckon that'll show you who's boss. And if any of you got doubts, I'm telling you right now, me and my two parts here are equal to the whole bunch of you. We don't take nothing from nobody. Now, if you got that straight, I'll... I'll tell you my plans to show this part of the country a real outlaw. I need men. Can't you go a little fast, Snake? Hmm? How do you know we want to turn outlaw? And if we did, how do you know we want to follow you? Turn outlaws? <laughs> well, you're all outlaws right now. You've all stole cattle. You're all wanted by the law. We only took what we had to have to keep alive. You're outlaws anyhow. You're all slated to hang for cattle stealing. And what's more, you're blamed for a half dozen killings, some stage holdups, and the shooting up of them towns down south. Oh, now, Snake, no one would blame us for all those things. We're not bad men. We're willing to work. We don't ask more than a chance to make enough to live. That's right. Oh, is that so? Sure it is. Unless <laughs> well, where well, you're mighty mistaken. I don't savvy. There was a few men killed in a certain cattle stealing over near Amaranthe. Well, what did you know about that robbery? I heard of it, huh? Sure. Well, I planned it. You plan. I happen to know just what the law needs to make a few arrests for that job. I can arrange things so you and your men will be charged with it. Kid, you hear that? Yeah. And what's more, the Butterfield stage has been held up three times in the past few months. Although he's sure doggone anxious to find the critters that did that. You did it? Sure. <laughs> but the law can't prove it. I'm only telling about it to explain that I wouldn't have much trouble fastening that job on you and your pals here. So you better join up, or else. Or we ain't no choice. <laughs> You're doggone right. Well, then I got just one thing more to say. First man to disobey me gets a taste of the bullwhip. And if it happens a second time, <laughs> well, I reckon he'll be begging for a bullet to put him out of his misery. Now, you fellas just keep that in mind. <laughs> After the Lone Ranger had persuaded the old woman to eat some food and rest for a while, her mind cleared. I, I don't know what's the matter with me, stranger. There's times when my brain just, just won't work right. First off, seeing you come here, I thought you was an outlaw. And you fired at me. Yeah. And then when you come closer, I had the idea you was Dave, my son. But you ain't. You ain't Dave. No, Mrs. Peters, I'm not. How come you to know my name? I've heard of your son. He filed the first claim in this section. He uh, started the rush. Mm, that's right. And after he filed on that claim, he... he was killed in an accident. But his friends, the others who came here, where did they go? Do you know? Mm, I don't know. They all tried to find the place Dave located, but they couldn't. And they all disappeared. Ain't been none of them back around here. 
Those men have been accused of many crimes. I don't care what they say about them. They were all honest men. Stranger, someone's coming. Don't do not hear him. Quiet. There he is. There's a man. Now, Tonto here. Man outside. He's coming in. Maybe he'll know about Dave's friends. I'll go open the door for him. I wonder who it can be. Wait, Tonto. Step back here. Hello, old lady. Mm, Stay back, Tonto. Like back you. out of sight. Uh -huh. I've never seen you before, but I don't like your look. Shut up and listen to what I'm telling uh, you. You get away. This is my house. It's all Dave left me, but nobody can come in here. Shut up! I... You better get out of this town. I aim to make it my headquarters and fetch in the boys that build it and use it. We don't want no old woman around. You're a gunman. You're an outlaw. I know a killer when I see him. You're getting out of here. No, please. I'm, I'm just an old woman. I'm not doing any harm, and I, I haven't any place else to go. <laughs> well, it's better. Yeah, maybe I'll let you stay on after all. On one condition. What's that? That you cook for my outfit. We can use somebody to cook for us. You willing? You... You don't give me no choice. <laughs> That's a way to talk. That settled in. Now I reckon I'll have a look around and see if this won't make a good place for the boys to eat. Hello. You stay here to give that woman protection. But don't show yourself unless it's necessary. Ah. Uh, and what you do? I'm going to ride to the county seats and see what I can learn about David Peters and the men who followed him to Oliphant. Ben Davidson, the sheriff at the county seat, looked up in surprise when the door of his office burst open and revealed a tall, broad-shouldered masked man. What the? You don't need that gun, Sheriff. Hey, who are you? I came to talk to you. Take off that mask. The mask stays on. Sheriff, have you ever heard of a man known as Snake Fenner? Heard of him? Mister, he's a murdering coyote. Kill at least ten fellas if he's killed one. Haven't you often wondered what became of the men who settled the town of Elephant? No. No? No, I know about them poor fellas. They went to find gold, but didn't. They knew there wasn't a living back here for them, so they stayed there. And yeah, they're living in a cave near Elephant. How did you know that? Oh, I'm no fool. I've heard how they stole a beef or so to keep living. They ain't bad fellas. They'll give up looking for that gold one of these days. But what if Snake Fenner persuaded those men to follow him? Well, I know he's tried to get those boys blamed for a lot of things he's done, but I wasn't taken in by it. Sheriff, Snake is an elephant right now. He is? And them two sidekicks is with him? Yes. Well, then by thunder, I'm getting a posse and going after them hombres. How'd you locate the skunk? Now, hey, wait, hold on. Sure, bring plenty of men. Now, stand where you are. Oh, drat him. Well, I'll find him again, and when I do, I'll see to it he talks. <laughs> During the following three days, Snake Fenner and his newly organized band made themselves at home in the house belonging to old Mrs. Peters. Tonto had not yet been discovered, and the men were gathered about the table where they had been eating. Snake was speaking. Well, fellas, it won't be long now. It'll have you all rich. <laughs> I've already figured out half a dozen places where a gang this size can make good hauls. Hey, you old woman, get some more grubby and hurry. Uh, I'm so tired. Quiet! You can't keep us fed, then you'll have to get out of here. I don't like this. What's that you said? What's that? Speak up so I can hear. Snake, I say you're being too hard on that old woman. I was a friend of Dave's and she his ma. You aim to argue with me? Why, you little undersized... You leave gun go. Hey, you redskin, leave go my arm. Where in thunder did you come from? Eat a gun. You not shoot. Anybody see where the engine come from? Grab the critter, grab him. I shot him. Here's your gun, Snake. Let it go there. Uh, looks like this fella's been hiding right here in the house. I reckon I'll just have some fun with this engine. <laughs> Time tight, boys. When I get around to it, we'll see just how much a redskin can stand, huh? <laughs> <laughs> The curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. When Tonto was overpowered after having wrested Snake's gun away from the outlaw leader, the men in Snake's gang swiftly bound his legs and arms with sturdy ropes. When the process was finished, Snake said, Now, Injun, you can stand there till I get done eating. And then, by golly, I'll make you sorry you was ever born. <laughs> Sit down, fellas, and we'll finish up. Snake, <laughs> I, I don't feel much like eating anymore. Turn yellow. I ain't got no use for men that ain't got the nerve to do what I want. You'll eat right now. I'll have that grub stuffed down your throat. Just a moment. You come. Hey, hey grab that hombre with the mask. Stand back. Stand back, every one of you. Stop, lad. Why are you... Quiet, Snake. The sheriff is on his way here to get you. Well, let him come. I'll welcome any llama with sizzling bullets. Boys, the sheriff is coming. Well, that's great. We'll use him to show other folks that we ain't to be fought against. Now, stranger, you put them guns down I'll or I'll... lower sh- one gun so that I can cut this Indian's ropes. But don't any of you make a move. And a good thing you come. Tonto got plenty to tell you. Fine. Steady there, you at the end. Watch yourself. All right, Tonto. Out the door and to the horses. Uh-huh. Snake, the only thing I'm hoping you'll do is to stay here and defy the sheriff. If he comes here, I'll get him and I'll get his posse. And one of these days, I'll get you. All right, fellas, they're going out that door. Let them have it. Shoot them down. Shoot, get him. They're getting away. Drop them from their saddles. Get them. Get them. With bullets flying thickly about them, the masked men and Tonto raced to safety, their powerful stallions thundering down the dusty street. Later, having escaped pursuit, reached a secure hiding place, they paused and dismounted. Steady, Silver. <coughs> and they hide watch out the whole day. At night, when men sleep, Tonto look over town, look in hill around town. Tonto? The sheriff and a posse are coming here to get Snake Fenner. Uh, maybe Snake shoot. Him got big gang now. But only two of those men are really outlaws. The rest of them turned to him only because they felt they must in order to survive. Uh, that's right. They'll have to be turned against Snake. There's a way to do it. A way to get them on the side of the law. How? The sheriff isn't convinced that they've sided with Snake. He doesn't understand the hardships these men have suffered. He's coming here with just a small posse, thinking that he'll have to deal only with Snake and his two friends. Hello. You and I are going to pretend that we've found Dave Peters' lost gold mine. Ah. We'll call the men, tell them to stake their claims, make them think that at last the gold has been found. You know all this section, don't you? Oh, Tonto know it good. Well, during the night, dig into a hill. Make it look as if you've uncovered the lost mine. In the morning, the posse will be here, and we'll see what we can do. Now, listen, and I'll tell you what I have in mind. With darkness, Tonto and the Lone Ranger started digging. I don't know how much of a tunnel we can make, Tonto. We'll do the best we can. Uh, it'll take plenty long time to make much of tunnel in hill. And he bit many, dig many weak to make good tunnel. We can just go far enough to give the right impression. Perhaps our plan will work. We'll have to try and keep the men from examining this too closely. That's right. After an hour of steady work, the Lone Ranger turned to Tonto as he put down his spade. I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm going to make sure Snake and his men stay in town. Uh, Here, Silver. Now you rest a little. I'll be back as soon as I can. Steady, big fella. Come on, Silver! Uh, Tonto not need rest. I keep on digging. Uh. Steadily, rhythmically, Tonto continued the work, with ears tuned to catch the sound of the masked man's return. And suddenly, his spade broke through to an open space beyond where he was working. Ah, that's plenty strange. Seems like holy ground. Let me take a look. The Indian made a discovery, one that might prove important. There really was a sort of tunnel in the hill. A tunnel that had been hidden by a cave-in at the mouth. 
When the Lone Ranger returned, he too was pleased by what he found. The two men worked till daybreak, widening the opening and clearing away the dirt. Then at daybreak, they heard the sound of hoofbeats. Hello, it's the sheriff. And just time for us to act. Here, Silver. Ah. There's only a half dozen men in that posse. Maybe a big fellow, that half dozen will be enough. Steady. Silver, we're riding to Maul Peter's house. Come on, big fella, come on! Down the grade and into the ghost town swept the masked man on his great horse. When they reached what was once Oliphant's main street, the Lone Ranger drew one of his heavy guns from its holster and sent shots into the air as rapidly as he could thumb the hammer. All right, Silver, here we are. Whoa, boy. Whoa, Silver. Whoa. Hey, there he is. Get him. What's he doing? What's all the gunplay for? Stand back. Stand back, all of you. I think the lost gold mine has been found. Oh, 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 Grab this hombre. Hold on, Snake. I'm the only man who knows where it is. The rest of you want to stake claims near it? Follow me. That's all we've been waiting for. Let's get going. Hurry, then. Come on, Silver. Hey, what do we do? Let's follow him. I'm a-going. I want to stake a claim. So do I. Hey, stop. Hold on. Listen we to me. We ain't stopping, hey. Snake. We're on our way. The frenzied men, once more at fever heat with a desire for gold, set out to follow the masked men on foot. Snake could not halt them. Finally, the outlaw leader with his two partners joined the others. With her departure, Maggie came out of the house. When she glimpsed Tonto, who had been waiting... Is it true, Tonto? Has Dave's mind been found? <laughs> you you come. Tonto, take you. Oh, I've waited so long for this. You look. There comes Sheriff. Him come after outlaw fellows. The Sheriff will be killed. <laughs> and you come with Tonto. It was toward the excavation on the side of a hill that the Lone Ranger rode. And it was here that all the men assembled. Each was frantically hopeful of staking his claim nearest to the original discovery. Here's Rob staking mine. I knew the mine would be located. There's enough for all of you. Take your time. Hey, speak better now. Speak, raise your hands. What's it? Boys, it's a sheriff. Shoot it out. Get him. Hold on. Listen to me. Man, the choice is up to you. Sheriff is here only for Snake and his real partners. The rest of you can go clear and become outlaws by siding with Snake. I'm your boss, Tense. Help me. Don't, don't reach for no gun. I don't want to be an outlaw. Yeah, why should we be? We found the gold. We're rich. We'll all be rich. Yeah, oh, yeah. Watch that. You. You're turning on me. You let me down. You're a pack of cowards. I... I guess these men have decided, Sheriff. Make your arrest. Smoke and them two gents beside him is all I want. Boys, put ropes on him. I'll help you, Sheriff. Me too. Be glad to. Count me in. A gold mine's better than jail. Any time. The Lone Ranger's plan worked perfectly. Snake and his two companions were no match for the law. Meekly, they surrendered. They were stripped of their guns and led away by the posse. After they were gone, Kit stepped to the masked man's side. Stranger. Well? Uh, look, mister, you told us this is where Dave's mine was. Maybe so, but we'd like to have it proved to us. That's right. I don't see no digging. Hold on, hold on, one moment. Don't you men realize it yet? You've been given something far more precious than gold. Huh? What kind of lingo is that? It's straight talk. A snake fenner is about to die with a noose around his neck. He'll be willing to give up every gold mine that was ever discovered in exchange for his life and his freedom. I don't savvy what you mean. Wait. You men still have your life and your freedom. Those are things you can't really appreciate until they're almost taken away from you. Say, hold on there. Yes? Just what are you getting at? Ain't there no gold here? Is that what you've been trying to tell us? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, man. After all, it was only a rumor that Dave struck it rich. Well, well, you it. You're foolish, that's what you did. Played us for a lot of loco buffalo. Stampeded us to some place where there was no gold at all. We come here for nothing. It was just a trick. A trick. A gold mine. I want to see it. Dave's gold mine. Go away. Where is it? Where's my boy's gold mine? There. There, gold mine. Is that it? Ah, uh, you look inside. But, uh, Kimosabe. What matter? Aren't you. Uh, are you sure you know what you're saying? Ah, uh, Tonto, not make mistake. Then you mean you found the real mine after all? This is it? Ah, uh, Tonto find it. Tonto find you. Find it after you leave. Me find real mine. Well, I'll be doggone. Mass man, then what you started out to do as pure bluff turned out to be real after all. 
Well, it looks that way, kid. Boys, we're in luck. Uh, Yippee! Uh, Get me for a coyote. We'll all be rich again. You look, you find ore. Yahoo! <laughs> hey, fellas, them claims are good. I'm heading for town right now to register my claim. There ain't nobody gonna beat me to it. <laughs> Well, Tonto, thanks to you, it looks as if this town is going to boom again. It's no more a ghost town. And that heap good, huh? And you fooled me completely. Uh, oh, me want to make surprise. You surprised everybody in sight. Mister, I... Yes? Yes, Mrs. Peters? I reckon Dave will rest a lot easier now that he knows I'm provided for. Yes, Mrs. Peters, this is your mind now. You'll have more than enough to care for you for as long as you live. Dave helped a lot of folks besides me, too. That's right. Even though he's gone, he put Oliphant back on the map. <sighs> Somehow, that, that makes me feel better. Ever since Dave died in that accident, I, I've been sorry I didn't have enough money to, to build him a monument. A real nice monument. But now, now I ain't sorry. And uh, I won't miss him so much. Because every time I look around this town and, and see how happy and prosperous everybody is, why... <laughs> well, I reckon that's a monument to his memory. A monument a mother can be proud of. Get him up, Scout! Put him The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.